everyone, it's Angela here from Two Vintage Sisters, and I just wanted to show you a little video here. My husband and I had the opportunity to go to Westport and Grayland, Washington. Uh, my dad and his wife have a house there and needed us to watch their dogs while they were gone. Darn, what a shame, right? So, as you know, we live uh, in Washington State and we have just beautiful beaches and coastlines. And so anytime we have the opportunity to go down there, we head over there. So, uh, but of course, every time we go somewhere, we do tend to find a thrift store or two. So, uh, my husband is such a good sport. He likes going in and looking at prices and comps and bringing the items to me and saying, how about this? And sometimes he's right on the money and he's found some great stuff. And other times it's something that maybe there's just too much of out there anyway, so it's not really worth it. But we have, um, we went into two thrift stores. There were a few that were closed, um, mostly because of COVID and it's not summer anymore. So we couldn't go into those, but uh, there's one in Westport, Washington that is truly a trash and treasure store and you have to dig through some stuff i usually have to wash my hands really good afterwards it's not super dirty it's just not your nice clean goodwill or value village place so um, but i really found some treasures there and you will see some of the treasures uh, a little bit later in the video um, so I, we went there and we also went to Goodwill in Aberdeen, Washington, which you have, have to travel through to get home to our house. So uh, enjoy the video, enjoy some pictures from our weekend, enjoy uh, my hauls as well. So thanks for watching. Okay, so here is the trash and treasure place, and here is my haul. So I'll just go through and talk about the items here. Uh, that is a old El Paso taco tray, or you could also use it for crackers and cheese. I just thought it was pretty cool. Um, this Whitman's chocolate and confections box is also uh, just fabulous. It's a cross-stitch sampler. These poinsettia tin plates are just so vintage Christmas, right? These little soup mugs, every time I get them in my shop, I sell them. Um, the soup kettle one is uh, extra cute, I thought. Very vintage looking. These rattan baskets and uh, charger plates, they just sell out every time I get them in my shop too. So many people are really into that boho look. Here we have this Midwest Importers figurine, this little girl in turkey. Isn't she cute? Those are really collectible. And we have here a Mary Inglebright bowl. Uh, chew with your mouth closed. What a good reminder, right? <laughs> but the colors are fabulous. That was from the 90s. Uh, Mary Inglebright is so sellable as well. Now, moving over to the other side here. We have another soup mug, and this is a little bit different. It has these flowers. This is a stoneware. I'm not 100% sure what brand this is, but I thought it was different and beautiful and just so ready for fall. Aren't these mugs amazing? These are orange spice and narco mugs, and 
Uh, some others call them Florida mugs. I'm not 100% sure why. Um, they also remind me of the Fred Roberts items. Some more different sizes of vintage baskets. And you can even see a guitar, a rattan guitar over there on the right. And there's a little heart basket too. So cute for those boho wall collages, right? You really can't find the rattan guitars very much. And I did add that in one of the boho wall art collages that I did that's in my shop. Here's some cute floral sheets, vintage sheets. Those always do really well. Uh, sports, vintage sports sheets. And check this out. This is a Peanuts fitted sheet from different, uh, it features different countries. That has actually already sold for $125. Can you believe that? So here's my whole haul. And enjoy some more photos and you'll see my Goodwill haul coming up soon. Okay, now we're heading into the Goodwill. Sorry about that terrible photo. Uh, here is my haul from the Aberdeen Goodwill. I found several baby quilts and blankets there. There's a train one. Isn't that gorgeous? That could be a great wall hanging. Look at this vintage Care Bears blanket. Isn't that fabulous? And Winnie the Pooh, that one had a white satin edging. Winnie the Pooh is in the Hundred Acre Woods having fun. This next one is Curious George. Curious George is at the zoo having a great time. Wouldn't that be so cute for a baby's room? Now these young ladies, I spotted, I was in a huge hurry, but I spotted those on my way out and I ran over and I plugged them in to see if they work and they did work. So those light up, the girls don't necessarily move, but the candles light up and those are in my shop. All of this is in my shop unless it's sold. Such a cute wooden witch. Those always sell well. Uh, this little Swiss musical doll. Boy, this rubber bank from the 70s, that really brings me back. And this little painted pottery teddy bear, it's a calico print. Those um, are very, very popular. More Winnie the Pooh. This is a um, pre-made or a store-bought Disney, uh, Disney brand Winnie the Pooh blanket. I've already sold, uh, every time I get one, I sell it out. Some more, this is a full size queen sheet set. This sheet set is great for fall. And these pink floral uh, pieces are pillowcases. Aren't those beautiful? Those are already in somebody's cart waiting for them to purchase. So that was my haul from Aberdeen, Washington, the Goodwill there, uh, some fabulous finds. You can find my Etsy shop at ourretroreflections.etsy.com and you can find Melissa's Etsy shop at onevintagejunkie.etsy.com. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.